What's going on YouTube? This is Wake Run Collapse. It's time for another collection video and now I'm going to show you my Japanese Shining collection. And it's important to note that I said Shining and not Shiny. Because the Shinings are very particular cards that were released during the Neo series. And I want to show you my collection. There are 11 cards in all in this set. Technically there are 12 cards in the Shining collection. But one of them is a Pokemon fan club version of the Shining Magikarp that you're about to see. It is a little bit different, there's no rarity symbol and it's also embossed, but it's also like $500 or more to buy. And I don't really feel the need to purchase a card like that. I mean the cards that you're going to see are worth easily $500 all put together and I just don't see how one card that is slightly different is actually worth having in comparison to all the other cards that I was able to get for the same amount of money. So anyways, Without no further ado, we're going to start showing them off. First of all, it's this Cora Cora Mew, which is just amazing. I love that effect on this card. I don't know that I've even revealed this on my channel before, but I've got one. And it is the only promo that you're going to see in this stack. Really amazing. That's thumbnail material right there. Oh, I just love how it pops off the card, even in the sleeve. It's really cool. From Neo Revelation. The regular, I suppose you would call it, Shining Magikarp. And you can see the rarity symbol down at the bottom, the uh, triple star hollow foil. So you know that is, it is the set based one. Even if you didn't know that uh, the difference in artwork does change. And you will see what I mean by the difference in artwork when you see the Neo 4. But before then, I've got to show you the Shining Magik... Uh, not Magikarp, Gyarados. Of course it's Shining Gyarados also from Neo Revelation or Neo 3. Really amazing job they did with this. So cool. Now moving on to Neo Destiny, Darkness into Light, Neo 4. No matter what you call it, it's got eight shinings and I'm gonna show you all eight of them. We're gonna go in order first. The Shining Celebi. And it is tough to pick up on the embossed nature of this without getting too much glare, so I'm going to try it like this and see how you guys like it. It shows up pretty well. Look at that. Next up, Shining Charizard. Needs no introduction. No information necessary. Just really, really awesome. Wow. The way that card pops. Just can't get over it. Next on the list is the Shining Raichu. Definitely an underrated Shining. Looks really awesome. I love the way the color pops off of it too. I think that part is really cool. Definitely a great look for Raichu. Lovely. Next one is going to be my sentimental favorite because I pulled it out of a pack of Neo Destiny. The Shining Mewtwo. If you guys haven't seen that video, just search on my channel for Neo Destiny. And you can see this card pulled unexpectedly and amazingly. So beautiful. Oh, look at that. The reason these cards are so sought after. And it's not just their rarity. Next in line is going to be the Shining Kabutops. Gotta love those claws. Really cool pose and stance for Kabutops as well. Oh, that's really nice. And of course you can see how if the light is not directly on it or very close to it, the Pokemon appears dark, which is very interesting. Speaking of dark, hello Shining Tyranitar. This card really explodes with color even without the direct lighting. Just the comparison is really cool. But we're going to show it with the direct lighting as well. So nice.
Next one and next to last is going to be the Shining Steelix. And I don't know why Steelix doesn't get as much love as he should. But look at this card. There's a reason I chose Steelix as part of my top five series, which I may or may not bring back. We'll see. And that's because Steelix looks amazing on Japanese Pokemon cards. I love how the steel even has like this rusted copper tint because of the, uh, the shining and refracted nature of the card. It's really nice. And last but not least, the Shining Noctowl. It's going to round out my collection of Shining cards. It's the eighth and final one in the Neo Destiny set. Really nice job with the color on this one as well. Could very easily have been a boring card and it is far from it. So there you go guys, that's my Japanese Shining collection. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Drop me a comment if you've got like a particular favorite or you've got one in your collection or maybe you've only got the English counterparts and you're interested in getting Japanese. Heck, even if you're not, just let me know what you got or let me know what your favorite card is. And as always, thank you very, very, very much for watching.